Here's the smoke from Liquid. Quake from Tiger. Also sweeping around. They'll open up onto Mind Control. A quick Astral step away. And a Remnant down will stop them from chasing him. Quake for turns towards GH instead. We are the link broken immediately. He's been rooted. Held in place by the follow-up. Have they got enough nuke to kill him? The block off there from GH comes into play. But still, Mickey able to slow down. We have the, the axe. He goes for the Chrono. They've locked out Mickey. Is there any save for Mickey? They can't kill him in time. He's going to be able to pop the ult. The battle chance. He's still in pretty deep. He should still die. But he may just bring Miracle. With a miracle force, Mickey is actually alive. gonna live. He's still alive here. They haven't even killed off the troll. Jump forward with the astral set. Finally, mind control is able to kill him off. But they've lost both Weeha and Miracle on Nigma. Insania sitting behind Boxy. Do they really want to jump in onto the, the, the slaughter? They're gonna try to. Insania is able to step in with the false promise. Keep Boxy alive. Insania will fall for this. The fear knocks back the three of them. Jump forward onto Kuro as he gets rooted. He's dead. Miracle pops the crown. He's stopped up. by the curse crown and he just dies to Jax there. Tiger with the Bedlam still going. It kills off Miracle. It's another train wreck of a team fight for Nigma. This is not the support that was falling over in the early game. Jump forward. They do get the opening onto Mickey. Can they burst him in time? And Senia's trying to get him rage. He doesn't even need to use the false promise yet. Mickey just gets the charge of done. The Chrono kind of awkwardly done there. Didn't actually initially catch Mickey. Mickey was just sort of pulled in by the end of the battle trance. It didn't matter. I mean, Miracle is dead. They will get Insania. They are able to buy through the, the braces and the essence ring, but they're losing the entirety of their team. Love that positioning there by Tiger. GH. He's on top of Mickey. Mickey's still got the ult to rely on. Let's oh. pop the ult. He's been you know, drawn towards GH. The Decrepify will now end, so he can actually finish off the kill. Does die himself for it. Boxy, Ink Swelled. Look at it again. Position to stun the two oh. of them. Finally dies there to the Netherworld proc, and Weeha will be able to come in and clean up Tiger with a Reaper's Sight. But I think that gold on Nygma's heroes right now is, is much more scary than the difference yes. indicates. A straight in GH goes on to Tiger. There'll be a buyback from Boxy. He's ready to turn into this one. The Soul Binds out. Locking together both GH and Weeha. He's committing here with the Battle Chance, Mickey. The Battle Chance is soon to Mickey. end. Jump forward with the round, and Mickey is straight up dead. It's a oh, beautiful chain, chain cross from Kuro. Could not be any better. Bouncing between Quake from Boxy. He's just breaking the game out and taking this game to victory. Quaifa does get the jump in onto Mind Control, but an instant protection is there. GH looking on the side for Tiger, jumps in with the Cogs with the Scythe out. That's Quaifa dead for 100. There's no buyback on him. They do Double get the Lasso. Soul Lasso in onto both GH and Miracle. Miracle still with a remnant available to jump to the side. Another one to get out of there as We Are moves in onto the front lines, starts to push back Boxy and Mickey. Mickey will get the battle trance off but he's been spirit vessel, he's not healing up. Miracle's getting low, but the disarm's onto Mickey. They won't even kill the Ember. They're taking away these stacks from Liquid. Liquid wants to do something to stop this. They're without their mid for 10 seconds. Enigma, they look to be getting the lion's share off it's these three. They're all coming. All 10 heroes are in their way. They've got to try and fight this. Arena's down. They'll look for the lockdown onto Weeha. He gets the protection now. They have got a Winter's Curse from Mind Control, buying some safety for Weeha. Finally, the arena will end. He'll try and leave, but the root is there on the first hit from Quake for Spare. Liquid, they've got to get kills out of this. They lost a decent amount of stacks to this movement from Nigma. Can they claim kills in response? The spear won't quite latch Miracle to the tree as Miracle will live. Mikkei is able to clean up Kuro. They'll turn towards GH, Tiger. No disruption for 12 seconds, so GH should be fine here. Mickey turning back towards the river with that oh. final jump as Mind Control is inside the pit. Falls to another route from Quite for his miracle. Still trying to finish this, but Mickey is prepared with the build up. Boundless the strike slams it down onto GH and onto Miracle. Liquid, they will be able to punish him severely. Miracle with a buyback. Jumps back in with the remnant that he had prepared. He's got one more remnant to play his way out of this. He will get disrupted. Mickey, no stun for six seconds. Miracle should be more than fine. Remnants out. In fact, he's still thinking about sticking around. He wants to go back in. Slight changes up in a second. Mirke jumps forward with the Primal Spring slow. Kuro buffing up Miracle with a Frost Shield. He can continue to push on. This buyback, it could result in more. But the three man balance strike turned things around with the blinding light. Insane and knocks him back. Boxy's walking back over. No arena for 20 seconds. The spear connection, it connects onto We Are. Locks him down to the tree. Boxy trying to stay on top of Kuro. But Nigma maneuvering in a way that they cannot get to the supports liquid. Now, Tiger turns, poison onto Miracle. Mirke, he's trapped by the cogs. Nigma, they get another kill. And Tiger, he's dead as well. The buyback working out. Out perfectly. Miracle's not even done. Another remnant back as he gets knocked back by Boxy's spear. Liquid I love will these keep the rest of them safe. Quaifa. One route onto Kuro will grant them the kill onto the Lich. See if he can find it. Not there. And they're going to play it safe as well. 
Roche falling fast, as you say, and GH is already down the high ground, ready to look out for these sort of plays that Tiger's going to make. Tiger trapped in the cogs. They'll be able to hold him back. Leave Weehar in the pit in an attempt to finish it. Mikke's coming in close. It is low. Is he going to get in the pit time? Weehar's getting bashed up. They need to send someone in there, but they're not yeah, going to do so in time. Nickma's able to finish it off, get the Aegis on Weehar. Insania knocks back GH with the blinding light, but Weehar's in with a follow-up. Jumps in with a blink. The rocket will scout out Mikke. They're hunting. Jump forward with the remnant to clear the trees, but Mikke's already out of them. And looking for this kill onto the monkey oh. king by Mikke. He actually just turns, <laughs> barely strike out. He just he's kills not. Miracle in front of the rest of his teammates with the Wukos command down. GH, he's also got to be careful. The throw out the chain frost, jump for from Weeha. Mikke tries his best to dodge it. Mikke, he's still alive here, but finally falls. It's cost Weeha's positioning, though. Weeha's in deep. We'll see if Boxy can take the Aegis out of the hands of the TA as Weeha. He hides with the mail. Boxy, he doesn't have detection available on him. So Weeha won't even fall the once. The Aegis still protected. Mind control trying to turn with the curse to buy him time to oh. TP out. He'll go for the TP coin for Zabrain with the real hero, but he doesn't have the damage. We are. It's going to be the focus if Tiger can find it's the here. setup. I don't know if Weeha's getting out of this one. The spear comes in perfectly into the demonic purge in the boundless strike. Weeha is dead, too far away from the rest of his teammates. GH tried to come in and help, but the arena's dropped down. They'll use the curse onto Mikke, but nobody else is in range of it at all. So Mikke, he's not going to take any damage at all. GH will be left behind as Liquid, they're able to push Nygma out from trying to greedily farm. And Liquid are going to have to try and find some sort of big play, punish some sort of overcommitment. We are. We are. It's going to almost certainly fall the once. And it will do so. Curse also being used quite early this fight. Only onto the bear. So now no curse to rely on. In he comes for a second time. And we are. He'll get the BKB off. Bash. Bash. He's straight up dead. Dead for 70 seconds. Now they turn towards Kuro. The Ignis Fardis out as well. Bringing in mind controls. Why would Kuro knock back into it? Attempts for a TP out that's immediately shut down. Liquid will hold. So if you can quite close the gap, it's a bit of a bait that they've got good war fish in here. Nick was setting up for the turnaround. Boxy, he'll get the arena off, but he's surrounded by the three of them. Tiger goes with Demonic Purge onto Miracle. Miracle is BKB back up. He pops it. Looking to commit onto Boxy, staying on top here of the Smars. A defensive destruction from Tiger buys him a little more time. The bear Miracle. is there for the bear. Miracle's going to die. The Splinter Blast will fly over to Boxy, but it's not enough damage. Boxy's going to live. And now Nygma, they've got to try and get it out of it. Weehar goes for the TP, but the bash is there. Weehar, he's dead once more. It's another failed push attempt from Nygma. It's in the respawn from Kuro. He's got his Chain Frost. They know that the ults are there, but Kuro actually walks in to Liquid, who are immediately there waiting to move over to the high ground. The arena's down, locking in both Miracle and Mind Troll. Miracle pops the BKB as well. Now they're trying to focus down Mikke. Mikke, can they keep this Monkey King alive? Tiger can. The disruption comes into play. Mikke will live for now, finally falls. They get the big kill, knocking Mikke out of the game. Boxy turns with a spear, pushing Weeha down to the river. They'll kill off the Ember Spirit. It's a one for one at the moment. We are still good to fight. That refraction back up, jumps over the wall with Boxy. Boxy's trying to back out of this, but he cannot escape. Nygma come out on top with the two kills. Buyback from Miracle committed. Three minutes, no hex on oh, Insania. Oh, that's a deep hook shot. GH. He's straight in there, throws the needle, gets through to Tiger on the back lines. We are post the BKB. He's trying to take down the bear. The arena's out. They'll look to pull Mikke out of it. Mikke moving towards Weehar, but he needs chain to get frost. out of it. They pop the chain frost, bounces between him and the bear. Jump forward with the remnants. They're going in. Miracle committing with his own BKB. He's on top of Quite for another remnant. Bursting Quite for low, but he gets the true form out. He'll be able to back away with that increased HP. A huge boundless strike. In fact, as they turn, they slam down the Aegis. Weehar, oh he's dead the once. And they're ready to do it a second time. He's able to get the blink off. Winter's Curse gives him the coverage to escape. A disruption keeps Mars protected from Mikke beating into his own teammate. The curse won't warrant them a kill, but it does allow Weehar to safely blink out. G Mars it does still fall. GH goes back in with another deep hook shot. They'll focus the bottom no. Quoifer jumps in with the bear, Abyssal Blade onto Weeha. Buyback comes out from Mars. Weeha's in trouble. They're using the Cold Embrace to try and keep him safe in the arena. It's back Weeha. up. Weeha's trapped in. So is GH. They've killed off two. Nygma's got to get out of there. Trying to get out, Kuro, TP's cancelled by a fear, Kids Liquid, the they'll clean up another, Mind Control, his TP won't be successful either as the Spear clips him from Boxy. He's got a uh, Timeless Relic on Miracle as well. GH is trying to go in onto Mikke, it's a little scary because Liquid do have all ults available, oh, they turn the Abyssal Blade onto Miracle, the follow-up Boundless Strike, if they got any other follow-up, the Hex is there from Insania, the Ignis Fardis is down, pulling Miracle in, Miracle still gets the chance to put the BKB, but he's been cold embraced as well, Mind Control's trying to help him, he gets the chance to slide a fish, jumps over the Remnant towards Insania, but another disruption from Tiger holds Miracle in place, the Poison's in, Miracle, he's just dead, GH is trying to Jumps finish up Tiger response, Miracle buys back, straight over to 
towards the random moves over towards Insania with the Spirit Vest, but Insania, he's keeping the distance. Boxy, he goes turns, down. after the Yules, locks him into the tree with the Spear, hangs from Insania once again. Another Cold Embrace being used, trying to keep this Emperor alive. He brought back for this, he cannot afford to let him die. The Abyssal? The chain stun from the root, the Abyssal, Miracle's dead for two minutes, the die back in place. We are, he's trying to run, but again, another clip from Boxy. He throws him straight forward towards the tree, into the clumsy net. Mir he's, we are trying to fight back into this Mars, but Boxy and his shield is too damn strong. We are, he's got to get out of it. Another they got hex, a hex. But another Hex, Insania for the third time, this team fight, locking down the cause of Nygma. They're not ready to play into this sort of cast range Hex play from the Cottle, and it's another fight that's easily in the bag for Liquid. And now Nygma, they're out without two of their cores, soon to be without three. Oh, they got to get Shard. If they want to try and stop this, GH has got to look for some big ball play. He's got to get the timing perfectly with a hook shot. If they want to try and put a stop to this, the Hex is down onto Miracle. Miracle's got to be careful. Wee Hard tries to focus the target on the backlines with the BKB. He's moving towards the call. He'll get it. Insania's dead. GH, he jumps over to the side. He's caught two of them in the cocks. BK blocks the Wukong's command. Cold Embrace. We are. Hill. We are up. He's still getting bursted down with the demonic purges from Tiger. Tiger, buy back as well from Insania and Wee Hard. They're moving back towards the pit. Miracle's in Miracle. trouble. Knocked out in the Wukong's command. He's dead for 100 seconds. No buyback on the Ember. GH will fall. Buyback from both GH and Miracle. Nigma, no, they cannot let this Roche go into the hands of Liquid. But Liquid, they're going to move straight back in. Mickey's also found a DD rune. Roche is the falling curse. low. They do manage to curse. They're looking for the seal. We are. He jumps we in. Got he gets disrupted. He was able to pick up the edges though and the cheese in time. Can they kill him off the two times in a row? They'll get him the once. The Chain Frost bouncing a few times over onto Mickey. Mickey did manage to grab both the Refresher Shard and the Aghanims for himself. They'll kill off We Are a second time. That's a dieback on the TA. They'll move over towards GH. This should be the end of the game as it looks as Mind Control is also out. Yeah, the only kills so far are on the Lich and, well, oh god, speaking too soon, Vtune. Doppelgangers tries to run, but the chase down is looking like it's going to be there. Boundless Strike comes through, and Vtune still getting chased. No one jumps back the other direction. They're not going to be able to finish it off. Always Want to Fly is the one that might go down instead. Just an all-out brawl. Nobody's dying yet, but General Luna shows up. He no wants involved, and Luna might be dead. It looked good for a moment. VP now looking to turn this back around. Black Hole onto two. What in God's name is happening as all three of them go down? Murtis, bro, where are you going? Well, this is exactly what they needed. Enigma hit low six before 10 minute mark. And can they get this kill? Tiny, another toss. Oh, chase down Double solo. Ganger, not even needed. Damn. <laughs> if the position for steals your book, sometimes it feels bad. <laughs> Most of the time. Oh, VTune almost goes down there to the Boundless Strike, but they can't quite get in range. And again, ooh, Whoa, okay. the damage. Lunar Blessing. Lots of damage out there onto him. Iceberg now completely surrounded by VP heroes he is in a hell of a lot of trouble. They will kill off Luna yet again, but it comes at the cost of their Tiny and the PL going down. So Virtus Pro not taking their foot off the gas at all. They know Black Hole is not available. Malefist goes down, trying to take down no one here. Aloha Dance still retreating away. They have the Jingu working, and he is going to live through this one and maybe find a little bit more. Always want to fly. Got to run away. General shows up. I don't know if this is really going to work. He doesn't have anything, really. Solo gets right-clicked down to death. No one trying to escape Zayat. Also, there have been so many kills in this area of the map as they're going to pull back in this treant. Just nobody's bottom. Yeah, it's not great. The they find no one right at the start. Gonna have that toss miss it on the side, but it doesn't look like it's gonna end up mattering all that much. Wukong's command goes down oh, right. with a black hole. Every damn thing dropped down onto his face. The mechanism comes out afterwards, but they might have overextended Iceberg under control and gonna get killed off. Three dead for that Monkey King. Black hole, there's a lot of things to cancel it. Oh, yep, and resolution, mechanism, black hole onto two of the turnaround. Is this Wait, actually gonna work? Stick. They got avalanche, toss, trying to make it happen. Oh God. And there is the turnaround. Now it's Iceberg that's maybe in a little bit of trouble as the right click's coming at the resolution. No one shows up as well. So they use black hole and they lose both. 180 damage right now with all of those buffs that he's got. This is absolutely insane and now no one has he gone a bit too far a little bit of mischief trying to stay alive can he walk away from here answer is no but it's only the aegis luna and still holding ulti nicely done there run through a couple more punches is all they need but the toss into the fountain okay they get iltw take him down and now the chain frost bouncing back and forth 
They're in a little bit of trouble. Iceberg, another toss in three seconds if they can make it work. VP, thinking about diving fountain against the tiny. Virtus Pro still needs to deal with this. Uh, it's not heavy split pushing, wave cutting, but Phantom Lancer can do it. V-Tune, V-Tune, Mance style, turns on a solo, takes him down. Okay, buyback coming from the Grimstroke. Chain Frost bounces a couple of times, doing a decent chunk of damage, but always want to fly is already dead. Vtune still kind of in harm's way. He's a low end. He's also caught out of position again. Iceberg jumps in and isn't able to find the opening. Resolution just turning onto him. Black Hole had to Blade. hit him. Otherwise, Resolution was going to kill him. Resolution playing absolutely fabulous through this game number one. And Vtune trying to kill off this pesky nature's profit, but he will not die. Uh oh. My man's in trouble. No one caught out by that fissure that is exorcism used zayat moving in trying to find a double kill and he gets it and then gets out afterwards could be utilizing this farm on slark that they have oh hey how's it going this diffuser blade is going to completely destroy him yeah there is no answer for that right now and if v tune is just going to start running the train on all these people always want to fly goes down to the tower and now maybe going to be able to find another iceberg Resolution still has the Lasso's flaming ready. lasso, and oh, he just oh, got he will suffer lift up. Scepter. That was big. Now it turns on to Resolution. Vtune trying to take him down. No one can just be free and clear to right click away through all of this. But is it going to be enough damage? The silent comes out afterwards. Vtune, no more ulti, but still enough damage to find Slark's that. Dead. Can he get out Tonight. of there? No. He dies. But Iceberg may be able to make up for this one if he can stay alive through the burst. LTW still trying to beat into him. Yule Scepter lift up, stick charge off, cooldown in one, fell. but it wasn't enough. Nicely done there as Weaver tries to make his own escape. Those quills just barely off the mark, able to live, and Echo Slam back taking down Solo Aloha Dance. I don't think they should be taking any fights before Aegis expires. Oh, v he got silenced, but got the Shadow Blade delivered. It's not going to be enough. Control lift up onto the side. They got control over this Batrider now, trying to take him down. v gets the kill. Zayat throwing out the Magnetize. Hits onto several, but he also will go down. Now, can the rest of them get out of here? Do they want to keep fighting Iceberg? Timeline pulling it back in. And is just going to find no one in LTW, but eventually goes down. Chain Frost bounces back and forth between the two of them. No one trying to take down. Always want to fly. Stop bullying this man. Oh, good smoke to keep him alive there at the end. Finally, no one is going to go down one time through that Aegis. v still keeping vision onto him. And there's the Enchant Totem, the Control, the Kill, Triple Kill for v -tune. Oh, babe. Oh, that's a good person. Kill. That's a good person to find. Jumps on top of BKB gone for seven more seconds. And they find that kill. And now Iceberg chasing forward. Yule Scepter out there. A big Fissure on to three. The follow-up coming. Disarmed is v -tune, but he can still run these heroes down. LTW trying to get out of there. The break is applied. The Enchant Totem chase down comes through yet again. And as Iceberg runs ILTW back home to the fountain. Now a question. Fly to Moon, how do you deal with a VP just sitting on your low ground, punching you? That's a pretty good way to start it. BKB coming out from no one. v -tune on the back lines trying to find anybody. A good silence comes out. The full control. Ah, uh, but he gets another dark pack off and has his ultimate. Turns now, he trying to take down Solo. Solo is dead, but in the meantime, Iceberg not going to be able to get taken down. They turn on to another double kill for Vtune. Always want to fly is dead again. <laughs> it's going to be no one who is also <laughs> looking like he's going to die. So they just completely ignore the bristle back until the very end when everybody else is dead, and then they're going to be able to take him to. Oh my god, dude! Look at the damage. I don't blade mail. Where's the blade mail at? <laughs> it's going to be enough. Oh no. They also need to give a lane to Urge Shaker so that he can farm his Blink Dagger. V2 in mid lane. Going down yet again. He does have his ultimate available. Hasn't popped it yet, but he will in just a second. Rezo gonna find this catch now onto the Urge Shaker. Aloha Dance, Enchant Totem, controlled and killed. Some semblance of something for Fly to Moon. They have Echo Slam still if they want to use it. Now the turnaround, Echo used, global afterwards, right clicks come wrong, in, the wrong. wrong. <laughs> All coming from LTW. You don't understand what this game is apparently, because we are stunning, we are running, and we are killing everybody. Double kill for no one as he backs away from General, trying to escape with the bug still on him. Chase down coming, General thinking about going in, but it's too deadly. Stats, Urn, Magic Wand, Soul Ring, everything, a pupil's gift. Like, look at it, she's sitting at 2,000 HP. He doesn't have his ulti. 
Vtune just dead again? Silence there, jumping call, catch on to two, and now the long range zip in coming from no one. Dude barely has any more mana, but it doesn't matter because Fly to Moon. Almost. He's found. Dunk the courier? He was thinking about it. Jeez, Soul Catcher, the jump in, a hoof stomp comes, but it will not stop the pain train. Iceberg shows up though, Iceberg. Couple right clicks coming through. Zitchin to Silencer does a lot of damage. The Root's there with the Atos. Do they have the control? Echo Slam comes out. The last second save from Zayat. It might be enough to get the out of there. No, not going to happen. They do manage to find that one kill, but it's going to come at a cost. As General tries to take down another one. Chain Frost bouncing around a couple times. Iceberg still living through this. The Frost Shield keeping him alive. The full control, and they might just wipe them all. General tries to turn. See if he can take down LTW, and they will. They are strong right now. I had a oh. very bad read on how strong they are. Haunt, oh, good juke away. ILTW able to make the escape and actually going to break the Blink Dagger arrest so he can't find him. Does jump on to this silencer right at the start of the fight in a ton of trouble. Everything used but the global. It's able to get off. They burned through that Aegis and now trying to bring him down. Resolution is so freaking low. He is going to be able to find that one kill, but the Echo Slam afterwards controlling the storm. Do they have enough damage to bring him down? They do. B2 and all this Radiance burn over time. They want to get back into this fight for a round two here. Always want to fly. Looks like he is also going to go down. They find the Spectre. Jump in coming for the moment. Trying to control. Always want to fly. Global is there and Storm has severely overextended. Can they find this kill? Trying to bring him down. The fear response from Always want to fly. They kill him off. And in the meantime, that was a global TP out from Iceberg. So he lives. They kill off the Storm. There's still Echo Slam. I mean, this is a big moment for him. Solo, gotta be careful. Jump forward. Fissure on the wrong side of it, though. v -tune losing a lot of HP. He still has his ultimate available. They get that time lapse off to try and turn it. They bring him down once, but can they do it a second time? Enchant Totem, jump through. Rezo, he goes down also. Another kill for General. And General is doing Salam. so much with this Spirit Vessel Zaya. It's disruptive disruption. Chase Chase comes through. Aloha Dance looking for another round of the Fissure. He's got it right there. Lands as they break the TP, and they're going to kill him off. Oh, they're pinging it out. Uh, they find him. Global comes out. Reality already on top of him. Jump in is there. Iceberg time lapse last second, but it's not enough. He's still just going to die again. Chain Frost bouncing around, but not nearly enough. So they do lose resolution, but be tuned. And Chant Totem can't miss. <laughs> hey. Oh, they find General. That's a good hero right at the start. Stun comes out, gonna land. Fear point the storm straight down to the low ground. The big old echo connect onto both with the chain frost going. LTW, who's outside of the fight, but now he's finally gonna show up. They take down two. E tune gonna be coming back for second life in just a moment. They fought back on that shadow demon trying to get him back into this one. But the control continuing to come. A good fissure out to keep that Shadow Demon out of the fight. They've only lost Always Wanna Fly, and that's for three and a buyback. And that's also a cheese used. Age is still up and running for a minute and 10 seconds. Oh, oh Storm's geez. dead. One crit is all no they need. Caught again. They take him down. That's only one round of it. Iceberg, he has his Hex in just a moment, throws it out there, lands it onto him. The Global Silence comes out afterwards. The right click's coming through. Do they have enough to bring him down? Needs to walk away because no one is right on top of Iceberg. He is going to find that kill. v -tune is there, spots him out. Jump, blink, call off the mark. Wasn't able to get General. Round two, thinking about going on in. ILTW finds that stun, blade mail popped, and then the walk away, but they jump now onto Aloha to dance. On the other side, General's there for the time lapse if they need to use it. Fissure out one round, two round, getting the control, chain frost bounce back and forth, no one BKB out. They're leashed up together, yeah, but global. isn't enough to find the kill. Global comes out afterwards. The echo slam in the control. The hex is out there. They're gonna be able to take down the Spectre. Vivac comes back in trying to run and find this fight. B tune under control, but still hasn't even popped his ultimate yet. They do take down the silencer. Why need to buy back again in this fight? Control trying to bring him down. Another disruption. Zayat has done so much in this engagement. They're able to get the zip away, but General, he's on the hunt, wants to find a kill. The right off through. the wall. Can they make it happen? One more round, as they will be able to get the jump away. Time lapse is there yet again, alive. trying to find that kill off. Finally, no one goes down, but it comes at the cost of General's life.
after all's been said and done, it's been a huge advantage into the other side, but the jump there, able to find that silencer right at the start. The huge call comes out from Resolution, blowing them all to hell. But is it going to be enough? They're coming back in just a second with that silencer. Soul Catcher out onto several. Wraith King back up as well. Leash Cheese keeps him back alive. General still nearby, has the time lapse available, has it there, but Wraith King is going to go down. Global Silence finally, but the turnaround, they're able to get that fissure off the right clicks coming through, and Silencer so Somehow, Subway lives through the mayhem until he doesn't. Oh, this camp, Demon. this camp, so many times. They go over on the other side, though. They don't decide to go on the Spectre. They find one. Chain Frost is going to bounce back at LTW, but the full combo comes out. The control reso with the big call. Do they have any extra follow-up? Feet tune getting down super low. He is eventually going to die, but the Ray Fire Blast goes out, connects onto a couple of them. Silencer just gets popped as the Shadow Demon was able to get the Demonic Purge onto him with that bonus damage, but they take down no one. Let's see the zip. General trying to zip away, trying to run out. General manages to make the escape, and v Tune is eventually going to fall. All right, here we go. 45, oh, the big old call comes in. Rezo able to get onto all of them, the Echo Slam to try and turn it, but BKBs are already there. Now the global, the turnaround, Iceberg trying to beat into no one, kill him off. They bring him down once, broken, gotta blink away. Oh my God, that's so many demonic perch stacks onto the Iceberg chain. He's so just dead. Goes down. <laughs> Dude, he threw four of them on him, how dare you? Complete and utter devastation, dead for 94 seconds. And B2 just trying to walk away. He doesn't have his uh, ultimate anymore. This is gonna do it. VP, do they have enough left in the tank? I think so. As B2 living for just a little bit longer. But ILTW turn on the other side. They don't have Echo Slam. They've got a couple fissures, maybe a little bit of extra damage out there, but not nearly enough. GG is, is called. They'd love to have a crack at him, but they need the extra control. Also, Purge out from Z-Freak. The Wolf stays in front, and Puppy is like, I'm being blocked. He's able to get his quick little cookie jump, but Z-Freak creates an extra copy. Now the jump in. Nisha trying to create some space, but the Will-O-Wisp also doing the same thing, but from behind, Matumbaman wrecking apart the fragile hero of OGC. Now looking for the Keeper of the Line 2. Supports heavily split out from OG, and it looks like Chessie, my god, having no life to Spirit Vessel up. Controlled, killed, now Bristleback completely isolated out himself. Keeper of the Light wants to help out, like he can give a blast, but that's practically it. Blinding Light creates some space, Bristleback, maybe he can outrun this, but Madara, the Spirit, is in the corner. Can he jump away in time? Nope, there's a jump forward from Nisha. They keep the chase going, now Ember Spirit, another quick little Chakra, hope to give him some extra time to get away, but won't happen. Keeper of the Light, that TP is optimistic that's to say the bad. least. And now it's over towards Bristleback, and they will be all dead. Bristle trying to run up the hill. The upside is his back is turned. The downside is he doesn't have another life. He'll have another one. But what do you do if you're OG? You, you have to let him go again, right? Because it's Bristle. Yeah. yeah. No, no choice. <laughs> Yapsaw came out. Clumsy Net flies forward. Pugna. The army chases behind him. Looking for the troll trap too. Pugna. Here, secret <laughs> extra support. Metamorphosis is coming off cooldown right now. Chessie going to go into shapeshift, but he's already down to three quarters of his life as Pugna sucks a little bit more out of the Bristle back. He turns his back towards it and the Quill Spray stacks. That does enough. A clumsy net from Void Spirit, Lycan, unable to really keep moving in this. But Zibe in the middle of fight. How long is it going to take? The Will O' Wisp is down. It can at least distract two heroes. And this will allow Lycan to finish off Snapfire. Or will it? No, nope. Matumba's still there to keep on fighting. And Chessie just has to TP away to safety. The cookie's on cooldown. That's why you can't get the stun there. Meanwhile, up in the top room, but Madara's able to find the kill on top of the rune. Are they, are they baiting with Ember Spirit? Yep, so is the first one to fight. But the cookie jump! It's like Puppy knew Madara was going to hunt for the kill, but the BKB's there for Madara. Chessie into Wolf Bomb 2, looking for the quick kill over on Snapfire. Another Decrepify, saving Puppy's life for just a moment, but they purge it off quickly, so Puppy does go down. The Willow Wisp buying more time for Chessie to try and fight and clear through these Brulings. The Keeper of the Light can't say the same for him. Chessie and Madara, now it's time to get out of here. The Spittles fight forward, they're going to burn. Chessie, so low on life, he'll dodge the last Mortimer's Kisses, but the big ones, they are falling. And the buyback comes in from Keeper Light. He knows he needs to keep buying more time with the Blinding Light because Bristleback can't do enough damage to find the kill. Terrorblade doesn't have Sunder available. And Bristle, maybe he tries to stay on him. Zyb jumps in. His Primal Split just came off cooldown. But the Bristleback, Mortimer's Kisses are flying in. He needs more distance. He needs more time. He needs more space. He doesn't have it. He will die. The SD Disruption, it'll protect the Keeper of the Light. But I think Bristle's going to have to buy it back if they want to keep this mid racks alive. Ember is up. They're TPing forward. Bristle does do use his buyback. Yamsel's running, killing spree, killing off Coddle with just the Nether Ward as Ember. 
He's in the back lines. He's trying to take care of these supports. Maybe he can do it. The spirit jumped out. Now Chessie comes in, but Matumbleman, he's got himself a double kill. Nietzsche's just cleaned up the back as well. This will do all the work. Yeah, got it queued up. Chessie. That's the courier. I actually took off the faded brooch. It was Nietzsche's courier. And there's the remnant. Time to doom him. Delete the Ember Spirit if they possibly can. Zai is going to stick with them. Defensive Snowball buys a little bit more time. Zai copying a lot of damage in the meantime. And then she Snowball over, taking him with them over towards the neutral camp. Zai, yeah, he can't get away from this. But you've still got the Doom now going full duration. And Ember Spirit at 50% of his HP. And Doom can now die. As, would you believe it, Matumba has joined the fight. Z Freak will join him in the afterlife. <laughs> Madara, he's not getting close enough on the bash on Yabsaw. Down to 34 HP. Very, very low. A jump forward. Does the spirit actually connect? No, it doesn't. It's facing the wrong direction. And the side of the Syrian chains catching both of the supports of OG Seed. They do get the purge over on Zai, allowing Chessie to jump forward. But how much they just commit to kill Zai? And what else you got left in the tank? Z-Freak's trying to play from inside the pip. And Matumba is a triple kill from him. The spirit finally they'll bring him down. But he's already got the Aegis to the Immortal. Madara being controlled up by Nisha with the steering chains. Tuscar snowball falls. The tribe battle both sides of this fence. Right. Madara will finally be brought down as Matumbra as the ultra kill. Looking for his own opening on Zai. Stifling dagger flies in. It's a good ice path. And dual breath. So Zai for slow movement speed. Defensive disruption in the back lines. Nietzsche was already going in. Same with the Absort. Defensive snowball. In fact, they're coming over towards Madara. This will pull him underneath the tier one tower. And they don't even get the snowball stun. Have they got enough damage? Yep, Necro will end up falling. Yabsaw's dying pretty quickly too. Madara's gonna stay on the back of him, and maybe he can find a little bit more underneath his own tier one tower. It's a two for one trade-off. Doom was lost, so nothing of value is, is down. And Puppy now trapped inside the river. Spirit pulling him back in again, allowing Madara just to stand, seal, and deliver. And where's the extra help? Nisha going to now try and work as hard as he possibly can with the Banished Up Matumba to find a couple of more of these pickoffs, and they do find one. Hexu is down. Matumba still f battling up against Madara. Has to jump further out of range. Only two cool spray stacks on him. And the rest of the team, they're like, you know, PA's blinking around. Oh, heals. Into the spirit. Chessie trying to initiate, pulling back in Matumba, but now he BKBs. Looks to fight. Reaper Scythe. Goodbye, Void Spirit. And probably good by the rest of OG Seed. Pexu trying to battle inside of his own fire, but doesn't protect you. Z Freak quickly popped by Matumbaman. And now Madara. Maybe they try and focus on him. Zai into the snowball. They'll get that quick stun. Need to get to the front of him, however. Zai still being brought down. Madara is a very difficult target to have sustained fights against. Has seven core spray stacks. Matumbaman is just standing underneath. He doesn't really care. He'll jump back in once again, working with all the rest of his team. Five Furious down for OG. Level 15, Nisha. You got extra control. Just gonna go. Just try and step yourself out of this one, Chetzi. Up he goes, Pexu. It's a good doom over on Matumba, and they're committing everything they can to kill off the Phantom Assassin. Snowball saved by his extra little bit of time, but look at him just survive. He gets all the extra heals. They're standing on top of him. OG Seed is five, trying to bring down the raid boss, and finally they're able to do it. Madara, however, spirit vessel up, and for all of the commitment that OG Seed do, and Pettis flies forward, already down to 50%. Yeah. And Jesse. Looking for his own target over towards Puppy. It's a good ice path. They'll need the macro pyre and every other bit of damage they've got to kill off Puppy. And looks like Team Secret already cutting their losses. Chessie, he wants to find Zai, but because they've split up their attack, they actually haven't got a single kill. OGC having to retreat while Yapsaw brings them all straight back into the fight. Reaper Scythe comes down and Doom goes from it. Maybe they have some damage, but Void Spirit, so much life being removed from him. He has to Astral step himself away to safety. The Ice Pass from Takura continue to create space, but Madara, he just doesn't have the life to sustain this. At least he's got the back to block.